have IMSH 2017. We have our pacer man system here that we've introduced this year for trans temporary transvenous pacing. I'm going to show you the main features and functionality of it. The pacer man system will work with any of your own pacing generators. So you can use your own equipment. Your learners can learn how to adjust the dials and they can learn how to work with their own kit. They can learn to um, orient themselves with all the components of the kit and it all works clinically with our simulator. There, we have two modes for the pacer man system. We have instructor mode or student mode. In student mode, we can randomize all the outcomes so the student can approach the system and run through a scenario without knowing what is going to happen. Or we can use instructor mode. In instructor mode, we can choose our intrinsic cardiac rhythm. So we can just determine how we want our patient to present, whether it's third degree or second degree heart block or a sinus brady. It has a pacing defibrillator panel and we can choose some parameters for that as well if we'd like. It also, you can set your transvenous settings. So we can determine what we want our successful capture threshold to be on your generator. So the instructor can choose what they want output to be for a student to have successful capture. So we'll choose for this demonstration five. The pacer man does, it does both a blind approach or EKG guided approach. So we can choose which placement outcome we want the, the pacing wire to go on their first try. So we can either have it go through to the IVC or we can have it curl up into the PA or successfully um, hit the wall of the ventricle on the first try. When you choose any of these outcomes, the student can then resolve that by, and the software will recognize their movement. So if they are in the IVC, it will recognize their movement backing up and then going forward again. The system also calibrates itself. So before we start the scenario, we will know that the tissue's installed properly, the fluid's filled, accessory components are all connected. So when you're running the scenario, if anything is not working, it's going to be something clinical, like you don't have the electricity on the generator set right. So we already know we're all set. It also calibrates it to move any air bubbles out of the ultrasound area. So we can choose our vitals that we want. We have arterial blood pressure or we have non-invasive blood pressure that once we recycle it, it'll match the patient safe. And we have a, an EKG strip here as well. So for the EKG guided insertion, we're going to remove the distal pin. We're going to connect it to the alligator clip that comes in the kit. And then you're going to simulate connecting this to your V1 or V2 lead of your EKG machine. In this mode, then the pacing wire becomes an antenna that's going to map location of the tip to our EKG strip here. So I have our generator set at 80 and at our highest milliamps because we just want to get capture. And I have it on asynchronous mode. So we're at about uh, 15 centimeters. I would inflate my balloon because we're past the cordis. I'm gonna keep moving. And you'll notice on the EKG machine, when we start getting in, you'll start to see that we see this little pattern here. So we have this little QRS. We know that we're above the heart and in the superior vena cava. And then we're moving forward. And the pacer man will recognize the movement of the lead. And they'll see we went from the atrium into the ventricle. So our goal now is to see that current of injury pattern, to see that we're against the wall. So now we know we're in the right location because we see our current of injury pattern. We're going to remove the distal pin from the EKG machine. We're going to replace the electrode into the generator. And so we'll have a full circuit now on that pacing wire. So we'll see we have capture. The pacer man will, you can manipulate the settings, both the rate and the output on your generator. So you can see if we change the heart rate now, it will directly correlate here on the software. But so the next part of the procedure is we would want to drop the output. So with pacer man, you can use your generator and drop the output till we lose capture. So we're going to drop it down. On the screen here, we'll see that we've lost capture. We do still have a pacing spike. So we know the generator is delivering electricity but it's not driving any cardiac activity. So we're gonna move it back up until we get captured again. And there we go. Mm -hmm.